Hello everybody, it is I, the conservative coin collector. What's going on? Yesterday's video, I covered the penny. And it would be the next logical step to cover, you know, the nickel, and the dime, and the quarter, and the half dollar, and the dollar coin. But today, I decided I was going to veer off of the chronological order. America has had quite a few coins that have been discontinued. We've had a half penny, a two cent piece, a three cent piece, and a twenty cent piece. That's what I'm going to cover today. When it comes to discontinued coins, I can call the Ike dollar discontinued or the Buffalo nickel discontinued. But I'm talking about literal denominations that have disappeared out of circulation. And I think a majority of them disappeared out of, a, this, out of the same coinage act. But I'm going to have to uh, dig into that and uh, let you know. I don't have any updates. I just want to leave you with don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and uh, all that good stuff. With that being said... I'm the conservative coin collector on today's video. The first coin I'm going to cover is the United States half cent. It was the smallest denomination of United States coin ever minted. And the coin literally is what it says. It was worth half a penny. It was first minted in 1793 and the last minted in 1857. It was minted with five designs, and you'll see on your screen just a few of those examples. The half cent piece was made of 100% copper and half a cent or two hundredth of a dollar. It was slightly smaller than the modern U.S. quarter. The Coinage Act of February 21st, 1857 discontinued the half cent and the smaller large cent. This made way for the Flying Eagle Penny, which is a super important penny in history because it's the first one to be the size of a penny we know and love today. The hate penny is gone, but we still have our penny, and there were two coins that used to be in between the nickel. The first one of those coins is called the two cent piece. The two cent piece was produced by the mint for circulation between the years 1864 and 1872. And it was produced for collectors in 1873. It was designed by James B. Longhair. They were decreasing mintages each year as other coins such as the nickel proved to be more popular, and it's so popular we still have the nickel today. The coin was abolished by the Coin Act of 1873, which, spoiler alert, abolished most of the coins I'm talking about today. The three cent piece. The three cent piece was a unit of currency equaling three one hundredth of the United States dollar. The mint produced two different three cent coins for circulation the three cent silver and the three cent nickel, which I was able to find a picture of both of them in one image, which was actually lucky on my part, but that's beside the point. Additionally, they added a three cent bronze and the coin was made as a pattern in 1863. During the period of 1865 to 1873, both coins were minted in very small quantities. Unfortunately, that very famous coin act of 1873 is what killed it off. Like with the two cent piece and the half penny. Next up is the half dime. Some numismatists consider the denomination to be the first business strike coin minted by the United States but under the Coinage Act of 1792, with production beginning on or about July 1792. 
However, others consider the 1790 to have time to be nothing more than a pattern coin or test piece, and this matter continues to be subject to debate. These coins were smaller than dimes, diameter and thickness appearing to be half dimes. In the 1860s, powerful interest promoting the use of a nickel as a metal for usage and they successfully lobbied for the creation of new three and five cent coins, which would be made of a copper nickel alloy. Production of such coins began in 1865 and 1866 respectively. The introduction of the copper nickel three and five cent pieces made silver coins of the same denomination redundant and both silver denominations were discontinued in 1873. The next coin I have for you was not abolished by that famous coinage act I have been talking about because this coin was minted after 1873. The American 20 cent piece. It was a coin struck from 1875 to 1878 but only for collectors in the final two years. It was proposed by Nevada Senator John P. Jones and it proved a failure because it was similar in both in size and value to the much more popular quarter. Why, how do I know what's more popular? Which one do I have today? In 1874, the newly elected Jones began pressing for a 20 cent piece in which he stated it would alleviate the shortage of small change in the far west. The bill passed and the Mint Director Henry Linderman ordered pattern coins struck. Linderman eventually decided on an obverse and reverse similar of that to all the other silver coins at the time. Although the coins had a smooth edge rather than a reeded, as with the other silver coins, the new piece was close to the size of and immediately confused with the quarter. Adding to the bewilderment, the obverse or the heads and the sides of both coins were almost identical. In the first year, in which over a million were minted, there was little demand and the denomination was abolished in 1878, and at least a third of the total mintage was later melted by the government. Numismatic Mark Bevenuto called the 20 cent piece a chapter of US, US coinage that was closed almost before it began. The last coin I have for you is a particular set of coins. They're gold coins. In 1933, as part of legislation to stabilize gold coin value during the Great Depression, the Mint stopped producing gold coins. The legislation also banned private ownership of gold coins and bullion. That law changed in 1974, but the Mint no longer used gold coins for circulating coinage. Those weren't all of the coins discontinued by the Mint, but those were all the major denominations discontinued by the Mint. Because you can consider the Buffalo Nickel discontinued, you can consider the Wheat Penny discontinued, but the Penny still remains. The two cent piece on the other hand, or the 20 cent piece, out of here. So, with that being said, I'm the Conservative Coin Collector. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share and hit the bell icon. And until next time, I'm signing off. So long, YouTube.